हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट स्पीड कंट्रोल ऑफ डीसी मोटर स्पीड कंट्रोल ऑफ डीसी मोटर इज डन बाय दीज थ्री मेथड्स फर्स्ट इज आर्मेचर रेजिस्टेंस कंट्रोल सेकंड इज फ्लक्स कंट्रोल थर्ड इज आर्मेचर वोल्टेज कंट्रोल वी नो दैट द स्पीड इक्वेशन ऑफ डीसी मोटर इज एन इज प्रपोर्शनल टू वी टी माइनस आई ए आर ए अपॉन फाइव सो फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन by changing of armature current by changing the supply voltage and changing the flux we can control the speed of motor so first method armature resistance control in this method we are connecting a external resistance in the series of armature circuit so this circuit is having a series of armature resistance are connected in the armature circuit which will give the variable resistance in the armature and field winding is constant so this is the external resistance of the armature which is connected in the series of armature terminal and this field winding is constant so from this method we can see that vt minus ia ra plus re upon k5 n so by changing of armature resistance external resistance the ia ra drop will be increase so that speed is also decrease so in case of series motor or shunt motor the this method can be done easily for small motors this method is suitable so if we see the characteristic of the speed versus current we will see here this is the rate of speed and we are all getting the speed control is done below the rate of speed so by this method we can change the speed below the rated speed and it has some problems so that's why it is not used widely the problem is that the whatever the external resistance is here it has in power loss so so much power loss in the armature connection so that this method is not suitable for widely next method is flux control in this method again from speed equation we can see n is equal to vt minus iara upon k5 so any circuit which has the armature keep constant and the resistance is connected in the field circuit so this resistance is called as a external resistance this is the rsh and this is the armature part this is the plus minus supply voltage so from this circuit we can see in shunt motor shunt motor we can see here by changing the resistance of the field circuit we can decrease or increase the current so as we increase the re in the circuit the current in the field winding current in field winding will be decrease as if is decrease flux is also decrease and from this relation we can see n is inversely proportional to phi so as phi is decrease speed will be increase so from this method we can get the speed above the rated speed so it is called as a constant power control because armature part is constant only changing in the field part so it has advantage is above the rated speed we can change above the rated speed control is possible and also armature power loss is less only losses take place in the field winding so this is used for wide range 
where speed we require to change from above the rated speed we are using flux control for characteristic we can find out here the rated speed characteristic is this so we can get the more speed by changing the resistance so by increasing resistance the speed and current waveform we can get more speed beyond the rated speed we can get the third method is armature voltage control from this method supply voltage can be changed so that speed will be changed this is done by using ward leonard drive system so for this we required a one motor generator set to control the speed motor this is the three phase induction motor which is coupled to the one dc generator and that dc generator is again connected directly to the motor whose speed control we have to find out and this generator has field winding and this motor is also field winding so this field winding is variable so from this circuit we can find out the speed control of motor by using supply voltage control so here is the supply voltage that is three phase so input supply voltage is given to the three phase induction motor so it will give the output speed and this motor is coupled to the generator so that it will give the prime mover of the generator so the generator will run and generator will give the generator will give the output voltage so that that voltage that output voltage is work as a input of motor so by changing the supply voltage we can change the speed of the machine so from that we can see again we will see the changing of this field winding of generator we can control the generator output and we know that eg is equal to vt plus i a r a so as we change the e g so v t will be change and when v t will change speed is also change so this is the speed control of armature voltage method the advantage of this that we, we can change the speed of wide range from zero to base speed the limitation is that or disadvantage is that it required one motor generator set so it is costly and it required the more area so this is all about the speed control of dc motor thanks you